Have you ever had that moment where you heard of a new popular Netflix show that caught your attention only to realize that it's exclusive to some other country? Well, don't start looking for plane tickets yet, because today I'll be showing you how you can change your Netflix region using a VPN. I'll be explaining how you can use a VPN to watch whatever show you want, no matter where you are in the world, as well as giving you some recommendations. So let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of these VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, although Netflix is a available in over 190 countries, some content is only available in certain locations due to agreements with production studios and copyright laws. This means that there are shows that can only be viewed in certain regions and the content might differ from country to country. So the content you can access will depend on your location, as Netflix is allowed to stream specific content only in agreed upon regions. This of course can be an issue if you're someone that often travels or just wants to watch a specific movie or series that is otherwise not available in their region. And with that being said, a VPN is the ideal solution that people usually go for. So what a VPN basically does is that it allows access to different content by connecting you to any server of your choosing, which will disguise your IP address and make it seem as if you're in an entirely different country. And by doing so, Netflix will think that you're in that selected country and will let you access that new region's content. So let me give you a little demonstration. First, you'll need to download and install a VPN of your choice, as not all VPNs can access Netflix. So it's important to choose a reliable one. Next, you'll use the VPN to connect to the country that you wish to access Netflix from. This is pretty straightforward, and even though VPNs have different interfaces, the process is usually just clicking on a location on the map or selecting a country's name from a list. So let's say you're in the US, for example, and your Netflix library will look something like this. Now, the US has the most extensive library with around 6,000 titles, but if you want to watch Peaky Blinders and it's not available in your library, you're probably going to have to hop over to the UK Netflix library. So all you've got to do is take a little virtual holiday and select the UK on your VPN. This will create a secret tunnel and you'll just need to refresh or log into your Netflix account, grab some snacks and press play. The process is pretty much the same regardless of what country you're in. If you're in the UK, but you wanted to watch Criminal Minds that's on US Netflix, you'd follow the same process. Now, the top five largest Netflix libraries at the moment are the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, India, and Australia. With this method, you're not limited to just one library, and you've got a whole bunch of options that you can access with just a few clicks. So in terms of alternatives, using a reputable VPN to access Netflix is the most secure and reliable method available. Now, while some may have tried using proxy servers to access Netflix, it is not a safe option as it does not encrypt your data, making you vulnerable to security risks. On top of that, VPNs have many other uses such as anonymous browsing and the ability to make anonymous payments with cryptocurrency. Now, if you're searching for a reliable VPN, look no further because I've got the top recommendations for you. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no-logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real-life stress test, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to eight simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so, ultimately, Whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 6,000 servers in 61 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protects your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited 
limited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And to help you figure out which plan you should go for, generally you want to go for the long-term plans with VPNs, and I'll explain why. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six-month plan for $10 per month, or a 12-month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description, you get three months free, and so the 12-month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express, and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on a monthly renewal than they would have with the yearly plan, because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly, thinking they might not need this long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have going with the year plan, especially with the discount code I linked below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the year plan. Then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you have 30 days to get a refund and go back to just a month at a time. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs, and as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. And that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in any of the VPNs I talked about today, you'll find links to the pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.